Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy Black Friday! Woohoo! Or at least I hope you're having a happy Black Friday and you haven't completely caved under all the stress of all this bargain shopping. So today's video is about my tips and some of my suggestions of what kind of things you can find in the Black Friday sale. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what you should be spending your money on because no one has a better gauge on that than you guys, but I am just gonna share some little bits and bobs that I will be looking for. So before I get stuck into some of the categories that I'm gonna discuss today, my number one top tip for shopping the Black Friday sales is to write yourself a list. I guarantee it will help you. And I know that might seem like a really obvious suggestion to make, because lots of you guys out there, I'm sure are avid list writers just like me, but it really helps me stick to the things which I actually want to buy and the things that I need to buy. Because if there's one thing Black Friday is excellent at, and that is getting us to spend money on stuff that we don't need or want just for the sake of it. Okay, so my first category is gifts. And again, quite an obvious category, to be honest with you. And I mean, Black Friday, as much as it gets us to spend our money, it actually does come at a very helpful time of year because we're gonna be buying Christmas gifts anyway. So why would we not welcome a little bit of extra discount when we're buying those gifts? Now I know gifts is a bit of a broad topic. It depends on lots of different factors who you're buying for, your budget, where you live and what sort of shops you have access to. However, I thought I would feature this at the start of the video because all of the following topics can kind of fall under the umbrella of gifts. So they would all kind of apply in some way as being a gift, whether it be for yourself or whether it be for one of your loved ones. Now I'm gonna quickly touch on list writing a second time in this video because when you're buying gifts, nothing is more useful than having a list. You don't have to have it on paper, you can pop it down in your phone, but what I do is write a list of all the people that I need to buy gifts for, write a little budget, so set myself a budget of how much I'm prepared to spend on each person. And then if I have something specific in mind that I'm looking for for that person, I'll write that next to their name, because then you know exactly what you're looking for whilst you're browsing all of these pages online or if you've decided to brave it out there on the high street. So that is my top, top tip, is write yourself a list of all the people to buy for and a budget and some sort of rough ideas. Right, so my first proper topic is jewellery and as you guys will know I am a huge Miss Oma fan in fact this year they have made me one of their ambassadors which I am absolutely thrilled and honoured about and so this little segment is going to be displayed with a little ad down on the bottom of the screen because this is part of our ongoing collaboration however for the last three, maybe four years, I have told you guys about any discounts or Black Friday activity from Misoma, whether it was paid or not, because I just genuinely love the brand. And because I love them so much, I often make a little wish list for myself of the bits that I like. And every year, my mother-in-law always texts me and Simon and asks us, what we want for Christmas. And for me, Miss Soma is quite a fail safe. No one can buy clothes for me, not even Simon, because my taste is very, very, very specific. But with jewelry, you cannot go wrong. I can guarantee whatever is in that little blue box, I would love it. So I always direct her to Miss Oma on Black Friday so that she can make use of that discount. And I suppose this is actually another tip of mine as well. And it might seem a little bit selfish, but while you're browsing and perusing any Black Friday deals, actually just think about what people might be getting for you and if others might be stuck for gifts of what to get for you, because we all know how stressful it can be buying Christmas presents at this time of year. And if you're not organized, it is one of the worst things ever. So I'm sure any of your loved ones would be thankful for a suggestion or two or three or four or 10 on a little Santa's list, and they will also be thankful for getting that discount as well. That said, maybe you want to get yourself the best kind of gift, my favorite kind of gift. 
because I know lots of you have been saying you want to treat yourself to a piece of misoma, to a couple of pieces so you can mix and match. And lots of you have been sliding into my DMs saying that you're going to wait for Black Friday and you've been eagerly awaiting this discount because the discount is 25% off, which is quite a hefty chunk. That is a decent amount of discount. And not only is there 25% off all orders, everything, but they have also partnered up again as they did last year with Tree Sisters. So basically for every Black Friday order that is made, they will plant a tree, which essentially helps to offset any emissions from production or from delivery and whatnot, and also from their packaging. Now, there is a lot of choice on the Misoma site. We are spoiled for choice, in fact, but I definitely have my favorites, which of course, if you guys follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, any of my other channels, then you will see me wearing their pieces on the daily, and I do. I literally wear at least maybe one, two, three, Five, probably at least five pieces minimum a day. I love it. So the earrings are probably my most worn item because I have quite a few holes in my ears. So I've currently got in my favorite combination of the moment. So in my first holes, I've got in these mini hoops, which are actually from the Lucy Williams 1987 collection, which is the latest collection. And they're just a very basic hoop, but with a little cross charm on the bottom. And then in my second holes, I have, I think they're called gold tunnel mini hoops. They're a little bit thicker, but they're just super basic. And if like me, you have several holes in your ears, they're really good for building up this kind of hooped layered look. Now the necklaces again are something I wear daily, but I'm a little bit more adventurous with my necklaces and I will mix and match them a little bit more frequently than I do with my earrings. However, I do admittedly have some favorites. So the curb chain, which is another item from the 1987 collection. This has been one of my favorites. It's really, really minimal, quite basic, but it's got a real vintage vibe to it. And I think that this is perfect for layering with some of the more sort of pendant and the larger necklaces. But again, there's so much choice that if you buy a couple of items, you have a few different pieces to choose from, you can mix and match and essentially create something that's quite unique to you. Moving on to my next category, which is luxury goods. And I know this category won't apply to everyone because it is very much budget dependent, but I just want to say that it's not necessarily buying luxury goods brand new. This also applies to secondhand. So there are lots of brands, Vestiaire, The Real Real, eBay, etc., etc. Lots of these big companies that specialize in secondhand and specialize in particular in luxury secondhand will offer Black Friday discounts. But now is kind of the perfect time for buying luxury goods because luxury goods obviously have a habit of carrying a rather hefty price tag. And to be honest with you, I am all one for the discount. So there are a few of my favorite retailers that are doing some decent discounts this year got Dear Francis, who you guys know I absolutely love their footwear, absolutely love it to death. Um, and they have some really, really wearable styles, but they are quite expensive. I mean, the craftsmanship and the quality of their footwear is incredible, so it's well worth the money. But obviously with a little bit of Black Friday discount, it makes things even better. Now, one thing I wanna to touch on, because as I mentioned previously in the video, this is a kind of sale that gets us all into a frenzy and encourages us to spend our money. But this is where I'll go back to past videos where I've done perhaps a wardrobe clear out. And then once you've done that clear out, you make yourself a list of perhaps items that you wanna upgrade in your wardrobe. Perhaps you've got a high street and you kind of wanna change it to a designer version. Good example of that would be Gucci loafers. I know lots of you have got um, high street versions of Gucci loafers. Well, now is the best time if you wanna upgrade to these bad boys is to look out for those discount codes. Which brings me onto my third category, which is wardrobe staples. And the same kind of thing applies. So I would be looking at things like coats. I mean, this one obviously is my secondhand Max Mara coat. eBay did Black Friday deals last year so it's always good to perhaps before Black Friday fill your basket or if you've got anything currently in your watch list 
to revisit those items because they may well be eligible for that discount. Mango always have amazing discount. They've done it again this year and they've got some beautiful coats. So again, something well worth looking at, especially if you kind of wanna invest a little bit more money in your wardrobe and you wanna update your coat to something a little bit more substantial or perhaps to something a little bit more premium. The Black Friday sales are a good time to do that because essentially you can get a little bit more for your money. Cashmere is another really good one. If perhaps you haven't quite dipped a to toe into the realm of cashmere yet, then cashmere is always one that's on my list just to update my cashmere collection a little bit. Premium denim is another really good one to look out for. There are lots of um, eligible products on net -a -port -a, matches, my Teresa, Selfridges even. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Again, if they're on your list, stick to those lists. Right, category number four is moving away from the wardrobe and into the world of tech. So it's cameras and tech. And I'm gonna be a little bit specific about this just because of the job that me and Simon do. But we currently live in a world where creating is a big thing. In fact, there's more people that have an Instagram account, a YouTube channel or, or and or a blog than there are people that don't. So if you are looking to start a YouTube channel, you wanna start doing something a little bit more creative over on Instagram, you just wanna up your photography game, Amazon, and I am literally glued to Amazon every Black Friday. It's just as bad as Amazon Prime Day, but they have some incredible deals and they also do flash sales. And just speaking from personal experience, Simon and I often wait if we wanna upgrade our equipment, we often wait for Black Friday. A good tip is to have some items already in your basket because it's more likely that Amazon, with the computer brains that it has, will know what's in your basket and they're more likely to offer you discounts on those items so that's a good little tip from me so whether you are looking to start one of these channels it's a good time to invest in that equipment now even if it's just a starter camera something like an Olympus pen or even if you want to buy a film camera off eBay again it doesn't always have to be brand new items it can be secondhand as well or whether like Simon and I you are already a creator but you want to upgrade you want to up your game with some new technology then it is a really good time to be on the lookout for those discounts. Category number five is beauty. And this category I feel like should come with a massive warning box because beauty is a realm where you need to be careful because it sucks you in and you often end up, or at least I know I do, buying loads of stuff that I don't need. So my tip when shopping beauty, so whether it be uh, look fantastic, feel unique, Selfridges, whether any of these beauty sites that you're looking at, try not to go buying loads of new stuff because I feel like that's where the temptation, it gets that temptation ball rolling and then once you're rolling, you almost can't stop. So what I do is I sort of do a beauty stock take, if you will. I have a look at all my favorite products because I do have quite a few faves that I will literally use and use and use and use and I'll completely rebuy them every single time that I run out. I'll take a little stock take of those and I'll see what I could do with. And if I find a really good deal and a decent amount of discount, then I'll just buy a couple to almost have in stock. Stock. So beauty is definitely one to watch out for because there are some really good deals, but unless you're buying gifts, if you're buying for yourself, just be careful and err on the side of caution so that you don't get into that Black Friday shopping addiction mode. Category number six is home and interiors and appliances. So basically everything that falls into your home category. Now Simon and I have currently kind of got some home renovations going on. Come January next year, we're gonna have a slightly bigger renovation going on down in the basement. We're having that completely done. And if some of you might remember last year, our kitchen renovation, which was a full rip out started in sort of October time. So actually we managed to get all of our kitchen appliances. So we're talking Neff products, we got our huge American fridge, we got all of those items in the Black Friday sale and we saved 
£2,000. In fact, it was just over £2,000, which is an insane amount of money, especially when it comes to kitchen stuff. So that's just one thing that I would say if you are, and I know it's kind of, it has to be something that you are working on. So if you're doing a home renovation or if perhaps you're looking at doing some sort of home renovation in the new year, if you're looking at getting a new sofa, we obviously just recently bought a new bed, which we actually did get with some discount, but this Black Friday, we are looking for a new mattress. So it's these kind of sort of big home purchases that are a really good thing to scout a few sites because there will be some discount discounts out there. Right, my last topic is travel. And this might surprise some of you because I know that the main travel sale time is normally New Year, or at least it used to be New Year, which never really made any sense to me because after Christmas, everyone's skint. So I don't know who ever had the money to be buying a holiday, but nonetheless, it always used to be the big sale time was in the New Year. However, Black Friday is like this big, monster that's almost just taken over the world and now lots of travel companies we're talking flights hotels like these comparison sites all of these kind of things experiences spa days all that kind of jazz they've all got on board with black friday and you will definitely find some really good discounts across the board in the travel sector now one thing that i've often spoken about is when it comes to christmas presents for me and simon we often don't really exchange gifts as such or not really like a big gift i think a couple of years ago um, he did buy me my vintage chanel because that was a really big purchase and that was something that i'd been dying to have but for the most part when it comes to things like anniversaries birthdays christmases we do little gifts so that we have something to open but then we tend to pool our money or we might surprise the other person and we tend to do something travel orientated so it might just be like a little stay in a tree house in the countryside that we just have a little weekend away together so we prefer to spend our money on each other in terms of making memories and experiences to share so my point is after all that long waffle <laughs> to just bear in mind that travel is actually a really good gift and it despite what you might think it doesn't have to be something super expensive so it could just be a weekend away you can get amazing city breaks for like 250 pounds so if that was something that might interest you that is something to add onto your list to look out for this Black Friday. Right, so there we have it guys. I'm not gonna keep you here too much longer because I know you're probably all chomping at the bit to get out there and scour those Black Friday sales. If you're heading out onto the high street, I wish you good luck. I wish you the best of luck. And if you're just gonna be sat at home in your PJs or perhaps you're commuting on the train and you're trying to get those deals on your phone, I also wish you good luck. I hope that you get all of the purchases your hearts desire. And if anyone finds some really good bargains, send them to me, send me a DM, let me know what you're buying. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.